if you guys want to know the tea, if you want me to spill the tea, if you want to know the things that I've done in my past. Uh, okay, I'm being dramatic. Don't know if you got a girl. Don't be nervous with me, but I'll tell you all my world. I even dream of you, I swear. This one's of you and I. After talking about tea, I got really, really thirsty, so. Oh yeah, that's good. So you guys, this is your girl Cherish Rosabelle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you guys decided to click on this video and to watch. It means so, 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 so much to me. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, give it a like. And if you also want to subscribe, then do so if you want to. Let's just get right into it, all right? Let's do this. No more stalling, Cherish. Let's just do this. So the first question that I think would be a good starter is the first time I had my kiss. This is actually not so bad. The first time I had my kiss was actually my senior year in high school. I was, I believe, uh, 18. Yep, I was 18 at the time, and I had my first kiss at prom. I was dating this guy. He was awesome, really sweet. I actually kind of talked to him every once in a blue moon, and um, yeah, it was not bad. I can't even say that like it was horrible like some people may say, but yeah, I had my first kiss at prom and it was actually really cool. And yeah, shout out to you, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Second question, what is the first app that I check when I wake up in the morning? So I believe the first app that I check when I wake up in the morning has definitely have to be Instagram. Now that I've been on YouTube and starting um, this journey with that and then also kind of knowing what I want to put out there it's helped me a lot so now I love to go on Instagram I like to be interactive with other followers and if you guys are not following me already then please follow me right here this is my Instagram and I would so much appreciate it the support and just to kind of connect with other people it would be amazing all right let me stop promoting myself first broken bone I would have to say I have not broken a bone but I think anything close to that and correct me if I'm, wrong, if I'm wrong, would be a stress fracture. I remember way back when I was in high school, I was on cross country and I got a stress fracture near my ankle slash like shin area. And that was really painful. Um, but that is the closest I've ever been to breaking a bone. And I am praying that I do not break a bone anytime soon or ever because I just know that ugh, that just doesn't sound fun. What was my first makeup item? I think my first makeup item has to be eyeshadow or maybe lip gloss. Definitely lip gloss probably. I know I was not allowed to wear makeup until I was 16 in high school. So um, it was kind of lip gloss, chapstick. Um, maybe like some light, light, light sparkly eyeshadow stuff from Claire's back in the day. I would like sneak and wear, but honestly, like lip gloss would probably be my first makeup item that I started to wear. My first boyfriend slash girlfriend. I think my first boyfriend would have to be <laughs> the guy from prom. Um, I remember that we declared that we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And that was like the first for me. And that was the one that actually stuck for more than a day. So I think I'll have to go with him. And if he's watching this video, then please don't call me out because I believe it's you. <laughs> my first ever, um, my first ever cell phone um, would have to be, I think it was like a Nokia cell phone or something, or Nokia or whatever it was called. And me and my sister shared it in middle, middle school. And it did its job, it did its purpose. There was really no complaints. Um, I liked it and it had like, um, it was like a flip phone and then it would like sparkle and like change different colors when you get like a text or like a notification. So I really liked it. I, I, I miss the days when cell phones were kind of like unique. Everyone was different. So like, you know, you just, you just seemed, it just seemed more creative back then, if that makes any type of sense. My first heartbreak, ugh. I there's this one guy in college that I really 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 liked and I really had a crush on and we were just like we were a ball of confusion there was no um, set destination for our relationship or anything 
but I just remember liking him so much like oh my gosh I liked him a lot and I fought for it I did and he was really cute um, he was from the Dominican Republic I'm pretty sure after just saying that people will know who I'm talking about but uh, he was a really cool guy and everything and then like him and I not working out it kind of was a big bummer for me and it just really showed me like how how complicated things can be like you just saying that you like someone and that person saying that they like you back like it's more than that it's never it's, it's just more than that so yeah that's the only one that I can think of where it was my first like oh this sucks type feeling y'all I'm wearing a hat because I'm having a bad hair day and I need to like do my hair soon so I'm wearing a hat to kind of like cover that up a little bit hopefully it's not hopefully it's not distracting so okay anyways let's continue my first sexual experience okay as the kissing one count I think the kissing one counts let's just move on I think that one counts okay first YouTube video so if you guys don't know this like I did start YouTube just recently but I actually first started my account and making YouTube videos back when I was like a junior in college and so um, I believe like one of my first YouTube videos was how to attract a man or something like that and I deleted all those videos people still tell me like oh your videos back then were so 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 funny and they were scripted and like I just had so much fun with it but I am planning on doing something some videos like that in the future for those of you guys that do like those videos keep clicking that bell and making sure you subscribe to my videos so when I do post that video or those videos then you guys will know when and you can watch them the first time you ever got drunk okay so the first time I ever got drunk I was at college and I had not drank alcohol at all like I did not drink alcohol in high school I like was just like no I don't want to do it all that type of stuff but I was curious this is when I started to like make friends and like kind of like get to know more people and these two girls were gonna go to this like this frat fraternity party or whatever and like they were pre-gaming and they asked me if I wanted some of their wine so I was like sure let me try some of the wine I had some of the wine I thought it was disgusting it was red wine I don't even know what type it was but I had some and I had some more and then I had some more and then about maybe 35 minutes later I was so like I was drunk but I wasn't like blackout drunk where I couldn't go anywhere but like let me tell you I, the whole time I remember telling to myself I like whoa that I don't know what's going on I don't I can't I can't mm, I couldn't even like so the next question is what was your first tweet and I had to do some scrolling people like I scrolled away and I was shocked because I did not know that I tweeted that much but uh, yes I am more active on Twitter as well and if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter then please so right here my first tweet was in the dorm room chilling like a villain next is what was my first Instagram post and I had to scroll back down my first Instagram picture on my newest Instagram is this picture right here and it is my snapchat which is I know super exciting but I am on snapchat as well as Rosabella and or I should say Rosa underscore Bella and I do post on there every once in a while snapchat used to be my thing but not so much anymore and then now I'm getting back into it but if you guys would like to follow me you can do so and to make this a little bit more interesting my next picture that I have posted is this one right here and that is actually me using snapchat and I think I'm adorable what do you think I don't know I just think this picture is super cute who was your first roommate so my first roommate was when I was back in college at Western Michigan University and I had a dorm with another girl she was really cute really friendly really nice to me um, but she was crazy and I was from um, the upbringing of kind of just a small town girl um, very cautious about my decisions did never get in trouble all that type of stuff and she was kind of like the exact opposite she definitely liked to party she definitely liked, liked to do a whole bunch of things there's a whole lot of stuff I could say about that but um, she was cool and everything nothing severely bad happened 
but we just were complete opposites and after that experience I told myself and I was able to or I told myself that I needed to be by myself or either move in with my sister so next year I was moving in with my sister and we had an apartment together so yeah all right you guys those were all my first times if you guys loved this video please give it a big thumbs up for me I would so appreciate it I love making videos for you guys and I liked watching them myself I yes I'm one of those people I will watch my own videos I want to make sure that my videos make sense and they have good content and if I don't think so then why would I think that anybody else would so Please don't forget to subscribe to my videos and if you guys like these videos, let me know in the comments and let me know or suggest videos that you guys would like to see. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye!